This was heartbreaking. <laughs> Let's make sure this never happens to you. Okay, here's the deal. Over the last two years, my son has been building a guitar alongside me. Now, it's not a two-year project, but he has been working on it as he's had time, so it's taken a little bit longer to put that together. We were at the final stages of the build, so we are putting finish on the body. Uh, he's already got a bunch of coats on here. We're probably within the last two to three coats of being complete. Now, when we're in that stage, typically we uh, put a, a piece in the neck block and we'll hang it uh, from our garage door track in the shop here. And that works pretty well. The problem is, on this specific day, he had the guitar hanging up there and drying. I was cleaning the shop. I happened to be bent over and underneath of the guitar, not remembering that it was above my head. And the height that it hung at uh, happened to be right at that level. I came up, guitar came out of the hooks, and ultimately it shattered as it hit the floor. Now this has had the top and the back removed. That did not happen in that process. Uh, but needless to say, this was devastating. From a luthier's perspective, that's devastating. From a dad's perspective, it's heartbreaking. Uh, there was nothing that I could do to take that back. There was no recovery, uh, no apology would amount to enough to overcome the tragedy of that happening. Now, thankfully, my son gave me a lot of grace and we are currently in the stages of rebuilding his guitar. It's gonna be built back better. Uh, it's gonna be much stronger. And there's actually two lessons to learn from this. We're gonna cover one today. I'm gonna cover one in a different series. But today, let's talk about how to make a hanging system that is much more safe and secure and stable for the finishing process of the guitar. The idea here is that these hangers go down into the tenon slot of the guitar uh, and they lift up and out of this slot. So the idea here is that you cannot accidentally bump them. Uh, you have to be very intentional about getting it out of uh, this unit and this assembly. Let's start with a piece of poplar that we got here. Get this over on a table saw. My CNC machine is not very big. I only have a 24 inch table. Uh, my, my actual length on this is 23 inches. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and cut this on the table saw just so I can get it down to a sizable uh, dimension. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mark this at 24, half an inch uh, on each side to be able to clamp down to. It took a little bit of extra sanding, but I think I got what I wanted out of that. So I think that we're ready to go ahead and cut the rest of the parts. There, I've got, I got all the pieces cut. I went ahead and assembled it. I don't want to bore you guys. It's just a box, but as you can see, it came out pretty decent. I've got the slots for all three things to hang from. Next up, let's build the hangers. I've got this piece of mahogany, which is probably overkill for something as simple as a neck hanging bracket, but it's a piece that I would normally use on my neck billets anyways. So this one is not a good one for that. It doesn't have good quarter sawn grain that I like. So for this, it'll work. It's a nice spare piece. So next up is to get this thickness planed down to what I need to fit into the slot uh, in the neck block. these days I am gonna get one of those fancy auto feed belt belt sanders or drum sanders uh, but for now it works now let's get on to cutting I, 
I really like the way this came out. I did not realize when I was cutting it that it I actually designed a wine bottle, but then I got thinking, that's actually kind of right. This whole assembly represents uh, like a wine glass holder uh, that you would put up in a kitchen or something like that, you know, upside down wine glass. So uh, I, I guess that's fitting. Uh, I've also got a couple of holes down here for the dowels to go in, use a, a bolt and dowel uh, system for our necks. So that's just a, to hold it into the guitar well uh, to, to bring everything together. So I think next up we'll get a screw uh, in the top of this, get some glue in there, put that together and we'll be just about done. You know what I think this needs? It needs just a little bit of branding right there, right? assembly I need to come up with a way to put this up on the ceiling so I thought about just a piece to fit in uh, to the middle that I can screw onto the ceiling and then just slide all of this into so uh, I didn't have a piece long enough left over in the scrap so I just glued two pieces together it's fine it's all gonna get hidden uh, on the inside so no judgments there but I'm gonna go ahead and put some holes through here and then I think we will be able to get this lined up and fastened to the ceiling failure in life is an opportunity to learn. It's feedback. So this was just another example of something that we took out of what was a heartbreak from a luthier's perspective, but also from a dad's perspective in destroying a guitar and learning something from that. We turned around and built something that is now more secure and safe for future builds. And it even gives you a neat way to display them as you're doing that. We're gonna make this design available to you so that you can download it and modify it, make it even better. Uh, if you do that, certainly share it back with us and the rest of the community because we learned, love to learn. We wanna to continue to invest in each other. So for now, that's all I've got. See y'all next time. Better? Let's find out. Oh yeah, a lot better. Good? Yeah. All right.